Okay, this is the December 11th core team meeting. And our first item is the team wide stand up meeting, which Nico has started an email on. Do you have anything else to add? No, the email seems to be suggesting that, if nothing else, adding some form of asynchronous chat room sort of thing might be a good next step. Um, possibly a mailing list as well. The only thing I would add is that um, we we don't currently we currently have a mailing list called Leads that is kind of like the membership of this, but it also includes sort of all the things in the team repo, all the working groups, and not only the domain working groups, which is a much broader set. I'm not sure that's actually a problem. Uh, I think if those groups start to become, you know, I mean, I think a lot of those groups are active and it would be okay for their leads to be in there basically. Um, and if they're not that active, maybe we need to address it. Uh, so maybe we already have such a list and we should just try using it. <laughs> when you say all the leads, do you mean that these are leads of sub team working groups or just um, the working groups that are not domain working groups like the secure code one? That is a domain working group, from my definition, okay. at least. So I mean, any, anything the, the website doesn't draw a distinction. In any case, it just has working. Groups. Okay, so so you mean you mean all the things at the bottom of the website? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do think we should introduce a dis another category as an aside, but and maybe that would affect this list. But I also think even if we had another category, that might be the right set of people for an email list. I, I, it was unclear to me if you're talking about um, including all the sub team working groups, um, but it doesn't seem like you are. I mean, so I think I am. At least the compiler and lang team are trying to reflect all those on the web page. So things like the learning working group in the West Sea. So those are included in leads as well. So yeah. this is anyone who's not marked as a lead anyway. Anywhere. Got it. Yeah. I, I just, just put up now. Yeah. Just wanted clarification on that. In the past, we've been drawing a distinction, I think, in part because those groups have been a little less sort of organized and active. But anyway, that's where it stands now. We can move on, I think. OK. Uh, next item is staged RFC, stage design, whatever we call it. But it hasn't been two weeks. So I don't know if you have an update. Uh, the meeting is next week. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, legal issues. Nico, do you have anything on that since Florence and I here? No. Okay. As we said last time, Felix and Felix and Felix, or Florian. <laughs> Felix and Florian, we're going to follow up. I don't know what happened from there. I'll okay. Uh, white paper is Florian community team reorganization. Do you have anything on that, Manish? Um, I think that's still being discussed. Uh, I would wait for Florian, maybe. Um, I don't think there's anything going on right now. Okay. Um, roadmap planning, Nico. So I sent out an email. We had a meeting. We probably should schedule another meeting. Um, the Initial things we discussed were around kind of what the road, let's say the, the big three themes were like what the roadmap should look like. And there's a general consensus that we want to talk about goals or like areas of focus and not so much specific agenda items and leave that more to be unrolled uh, by the teams as they go. Uh, but the other one was the question of the addition. And I think what we did get consensus on there was that if there will be an addition this year should definitely be the year to do all the prep work like we should be in place so that we're doing polish over the next year and not uh, implementation of you know features and it was a little unclear whether we would sort of say it somehow like that <laughs> that this is the year to do the work and make the final decision i guess in the roadmap or whether we would try to reach a decision sort of at least a tentative one beforehand um, and then the final thing was trying to group together the feedback into themes. And I think that's where we made the least progress. And I was hoping to play with it a little, but we're going to need more time. Also the, oh, well, we'll come to it. 
and the survey data will be interesting when it's available, which it kind of already is. I mean, there's been a lot of responses, but it's still open though. Yeah, the survey is the next on the agenda. So if you have anything else to say about that. I don't have any update except that we said it would run until the 16th. Um, so, and we've gotten, I don't know the current numbers, but when I looked midway through last week, there were thousands, maybe 3000 or something after just a few days. So I assume we've gotten a lot of responses. Um, I'll touch base with Jason and see what, what's the next steps there. Okay. Um, anything you want to say about the governance working group? Um, we had a, we discussed access rights for GitHub repos last meeting. I don't think, oh, if I said, that was, I guess I may have said that last time. We kind of had some, some plans. I wrote them up in a blog post just yesterday. I don't think we have to go through the details so they're not that exciting. Uh, but, Okay, anything else for the public part of the meeting? All right, 